Dominic was at uh, occupational therapy over at uh, Memorial Hospital. They, they noticed there was some tracking problems with Dominic. Let's see if you can follow now the cube. So Dominic is uh, three years and seven months old, and so we're looking at his ability to visually track. He was struggling, um, you know, struggling to use the scissors, um, just, you know, doing some basic drawing, playing catch, or doing some type, just simple things that uh, I guess we would say we would probably consider a normal child at that point, and he, he was struggling. What color is your, your helicopter? White. White. Let's look at another one. Let's see another one. Okay. Let's look at this one. Red. Follow it around. Red. Red. It's a red one? Yeah. What's his name? Are you following him? Yeah. Well, one, he, he had trouble expressing himself speech-wise, plus you couple his vision problems. I, I think it definitely uh, just created more of that frustration slash I give up or uh, I'm going to act out, which might be by just hitting or might be uh, or even if it was positive things, but he still couldn't always figure everything out. And uh, I, I, it was a struggle to uh, see him feel that way. But as he progressed, then it was even more of an excitement because those simple accomplishments were really big, big joys in our life. Deborah, um, who worked with Dominic, would say, look, this is what he drew six months ago, or, or you showed us some of the things on the very early baseline data, and then say, okay, now let's see how he drew this, or um, it was like, wow, uh, you know, and it was just some of the simple tests. At first, he couldn't even pay attention to do it, and now he's, he's mastering it. Uh, he's, he's knocking it out. And it's kind of went all together. He has confidence in his speech now. He's had more confidence, obviously, in his vision, so, so he can feel like he can uh, participate, he can feel like he can get involved in some of those things.